we present a novel method for high-quality reconstruction of lips from just monocular video. Given monocular video as input, we first obtain a coarse scale reconstruction using a state-of-the-art facial performance capture approach. Finally, we regress the high-quality lip shape using a novel RBF lip shape correction network. This allows us to better recover the shape of the lips. Note, even stretching, bending, and rolling of the lips is nicely recovered. Note the high quality of the lip shape on the right. Even the reconstruction of the cheeks is improved. Our regressor is trained on a set of high quality scans captured in a multi-view system. We propose a method that leverages marker data, in this case lip tattoos, to reconstruct the lips at high quality. The training set consists of multiple short sequences of four subjects. Here we show a subset of the data. Our dataset covers a whole range of lip motions, including stretching, bending, and rolling of the lips. Since training and inference has to be performed under the same conditions, we impaint the lips with actual textures captured beforehand in the same setup. In addition to the shape, we use the inner and outer 2D contours as features, which we detect using boosted edge learning. In the following, we show results. This sequence was captured in the controlled multi-view setup. Note we only use one of the frontal camera views for tracking. We use the multiple subject regressor, which contains the identity of the subject, but note the sequence is not included in the training. Stretching, bending, and rolling of the lips are nicely recovered motions by our approach. I'm gonna give you the thing you want most, Barry. But it won't matter because you will never truly be happy. Trust me. Here's another sequence captured in the controlled setup. But note here that we use a generalized regressor, which means that the subject was not part of the training set. Our approach also performs well under general illumination conditions. Here we reconstruct the video captured with an iPhone camera. Note, here we use the generalized regressor, which means the subject was not part of the training set. This checkerboard visualization shows that our approach successfully captures surface stretching. This is another outdoor sequence. The subject was part of the training set and we used the multiple subject regressor. We obtain higher quality results than state-of-the-art monocular reconstruction methods, especially for extreme deformations such as lip rolling in and out. Maybe I find it hard to forgive the follies and vices of others or their offenses against me. My good opinion once lost is lost forever. Oh dear, I cannot tease you about that. What a shame. For I dearly love to laugh. The ball can fall to the ground. Hold it before it falls. In the following, we evaluate our approach. Here we compare the different types of regressors we used earlier. Our multiple subject and generalized regressor perform better than the personalized version. Both perform similar to each other. This shows that our approach generalizes well to novel subjects. We also compare our approach to a model-based tracker that uses explicit contour alignment constraints. The results obtained by our approach are of higher quality. Here we show more results.
In combination with a generated lip texture map, our approach leads to very high quality results. Trust me, I know you. I am always right. I still win. We were never enemies, Barry. I am not the thing you hate. Thank you.